Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to cover single responsibility principle of solid design principles. Also, we will understand why this principle is important by taking a code example. So the first obvious question comes in your mind is what is solid principles? So solid is an acronym for five key object oriented design principle. So S stands for single responsibility principle, O stand for open closed principle, L for Liskov substitution principle, I stands for interface segregation principle and D stands for dependency inversion principles. So these principle help us to write clean and maintainable code and they are made popular by Robert C. Martin. So we will go through each of these principles. So in this video, we mainly focus on single responsibility principle. So what is single responsibility principle? The single responsibility principle states that a class should have one and only one reason to change. Multiple reasons for change indicate a class has many responsibilities. A class that has many responsibilities is harder to maintain and also it increases the possibility of bugs. Seems overwhelming? Let's take an example to understand this principle. Let's start with the example where we are violating this principle. Suppose we have a user class where we have some business logic to create a user right so if you see this method create user we have some business logic uh, suppose we have some business logic to create a user and after creating a user we are persisting the user record right so in real scenario uh, we save the user in some kind of database either it's mysql or nosql or whatever it is but we save in a database but here for simplicity, let's assume we are uh, persisting the record in a file. So in save method, we have some logic how we persist the user record. And also we have one more method, generate user, repo, uh, re uh, user report, where we have certain logic to fetch the users, let's say to parse it and to display uh, the user uh, uh, users either in a report or here I'm simply printing in a console but in real world scenario either you send an email or maybe you uh, create some CSV uh, to show them uh, to the uh, business people right so <laughs> these are the three functionality uh, present in this class and this is the constructor which uh, while creating an object, we pass the phone number, email and file path. Now let's see its main method. So in, in main method, uh, while creating a user object, we pass phone number, email and also the file path. So here I just pass the file name. I, I'll save, I'll create this uh, user.txt file where my code is uh, reside, right? And then I call the create user which ha which creates the user and persists in a file. Similarly for second object we pass some dummy value and again it create a user when we call this method it create a user and persists in, in a file and after that we are calling generate user report right. So what it does is it it, it has some logic to fetch the user record and simply uh, generate the file or print in a console. So here uh, it's simply print in a console. But imagine in real world scenario, generating a user report is itself a complex task. It depends on what kind of business logic we have or uh, business requirement we uh, uh, come from the business side right so let me uh, run this method and when we run this method so what it does is it create a user and it save in a file and here so it prints the report and if you see the file is created and we have created two users so 
two records are persisted in a file right till now everything is fine and also by seeing the code it seems everything is fine as this class is doing its intended function but this code is violating the single responsibility principle and how it is violating the single responsibility principle uh, let's uh, discuss few pointers around it so let's discuss why the user class is violating the single responsibility principle so the user class has more than one responsibilities by seeing the code you know uh, it has logic to create users the another logic to persist user detail and also it it generates the report so it has more than one responsibility logic to create user is the intended behavior of this class it should be fine but knowing about the persistence and how to generate the report should not be part of this class why imagine tomorrow if there is any change in the logic of storing the data or generating the report we have to modify the user class and also the user class sh should not have to bother about the persistence persisting simply means storing the data and reporting pa part so it should focused or concerned about how to create the user right for uh, persisting the let's say persisting the record i mean it simply calls the persistence layer and the persistence layer has should be the uh, has the responsibility to persist the user data right similarly for reporting part the reporting logic should not be the part of user class it should be part of some other i mean some user report class which has all the logic around how we have to show the report or how we have to send the report right so let's refactor this code and let's see how we can uh, i mean modify our code to to adhere this principle to adhere the single responsibility principle let's discuss the refactored code in this code we have separate classes for user its persistence layer and its reporting part right each class is responsible for providing one functionality so now the user class is only responsible for the business logic to create a user and for persisting <laughs> the user record it simply calls the save method of user dao class and this user dao class is responsible for persisting the data and also fetching the data from the storage uh, fr from the storage part right and while creating its object it only takes the file path because we are persisting the record in a file and also we are reading the records from a file and this user while creating its object it has the dependency of user dao because we are calling its method save we have delegated the functionality of persistence to this class user dao and it is focused on providing this functionality similarly for reporting part uh, for generating the report we have another class which is user report so it will fetch the data from the user dao and when and now it's responsible for generating or sending the report so let's see the main method so first we have created the object of user dao then uh, the first user is created the second one is created and then we have printed the report right so let me run this code so when when we run this code so we have created two users so two users are persisted and its reports are printed its report is printed and by seeing this uh, file you can clearly see uh, these are the two users right so now the question comes is what's the advantage of the single responsibility right what's the benefit of organizing this code the obvious advantage is a class which have 
only one responsibilities are much easier to explain understand and implement and also uh, uh, the chances of uh, bugs is minimized drastically so let's say if this class is focused on creating user by seeing this code or I mean anyone can easily understand that uh, if I have to change anything around creating uh, the logic of creating a user I have to go to this class right if I have to change any uh, piece of code around generating a report I have to go to user report class right and also in future if there comes a business requirement only we have to I mean I write our code only in this class and we know we have made the changes in user report class and if uh, there comes any issue or bug we know we have to debug in this class I mean uh, there is no issue at the user DAO class or at user level right and while writing the unit test cases also we have we know clearly what are the test cases what are the functionality we have to test I mean it's very sim simple and it's very easy to I mean implement or maintain for maintainability purpose it's far easier to maintain as compared to our previous example in which in a single class we have all the responsibilities so the user object knows a lot of things a lot of things I mean the uh, how to create a user how to persist a user how to generate a report which should not be the case right now here each class so if the if we created the user object it knows only how to create object for persistence it will simply call the user DAO for generating a report uh, we simply create an object of user report so I hope you have understood uh, this single responsibility principle so in next tutorial we will cover the open close principle of the solid design principle so that's it for this video tutorial for more for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel and also you can uh, like and share this video tutorial with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching this uh, tutorial thank you